now you played for for like Fulham. That's correct. Any stories about Al Fayed? You want to you you want to tell us? Uh, Did he like swim in his money vault every night? Or? He didn't swim in his money vault, but a couple of times he'd land in the middle of the training ground on his helicopter, yeah. interrupt the training session, and we have to stop. All his bodyguards would walk him in, and then you just have to listen to him, and because it's his club. What does he say? <laughs> Work harder. No, he just he motivates the players. You know, obviously, if you do well, there's incentives for you. And what does he dangle like a Mercedes and says, "Right, whoever scores gets this merc." We had a couple of hampers from Harrods, but not quite Mercedes. Yeah, <laughs> but he does. He does obviously push players to go harder. Yeah, it was good. It's good because obviously he's the owner of the club, uh, so he's, he's entitled to come and land wherever he wants. It's his club. <laughs> he can land wherever he wants. It's his club. Fantastic. Right. So right now, what's your plans and what exactly are you doing? Because I. Uh, understand you now play for like Pakistan and you're trying to bring it up there which is fantastic if you could let the people know about that yeah I mean I've been fortunate enough to play in England for 10 years 200 games all the leagues I'm now playing my trade in the Thai Premier League in Asia which has been a fantastic experience so far I can continue captain in the Pakistan national side and all these kind of being in Asia now allows me to to focus more on improving the national side and raising the awareness of Asia in England because I think it's something that the English lads could look into as well who are finding it difficult to get contracts. That's fantastic. I mean, is there like any... What's your what's your ultimate goal here? I mean, what are you really... What's your final goal? Obviously, you, you said to make it, you've got to look at your final goal. Now, if you apply that with this, what is your final goal here? Well, you always set new goals. My first goal is to become a pro. Second goal is to play in the Premier League, go on to play in all four leagues, become an international. So once you do that, I want you to try and help give back Whatever my experience around the game, project it to these kids that are here now that that are experiencing some of the things I've experienced. So, in the future, the ultimate goal now is to see more British Asians come through at every level of the game, not just players, coaches, physios, kit men, media department, and and you've got to sow the seed somewhere. It might be 15, 20 years time that it bears fruit, but it has to start somewhere. So why not here now? Fantastic. You know, I want to thank Zesh because to see someone do this and plant the seeds, like like he says, it's a fantastic opportunity. Now, just before I leave, uh, I'm a bit of a baller myself. You know what I mean? I'm a, I'm a big baller and I'm a big player. But I want to like challenge you to maybe like a penalty shootout or kick ups. Can we do that, Gov? Can, can we do that? Because you know me, like obviously I've got a bit of a bad leg, but I want to like apply for like the um, uh, Pakistan team. You know what I mean? I want to see if we can work this out. Right, soon come. This is Zesh Rahman, first British Asian to play in the Premier League, all four leagues in England. These are my top five tips to give you the best opportunity to make it in the football industry. Number five, get as many touches of the football as possible from an early age. Just do as many kick-ups as you can so it improves your touch and your technique and you get comfortable with the ball. Number four, train hard. Train harder than any other kid. You must do extra training, do your fitness training. Number three, diet. Eat the right food for football, football food. Chicken, pasta, fish, rice, veg, fruit, and the occasional curry is okay, but only occasional. Number two would be your positive attitude. Don't let anything get in your way, any negative feedback. Stay strong, keep your goal in mind, and keep working at it because you can overcome it. And finally, number one, do not restrict yourself to Asian-only leagues. Try and play in mixed leagues and play with people from different cultures and backgrounds and learn about them and try and be the best that you can be. Right, the challenge is on. Shizio, Zesh Rahman, kick-ups. Now, I'm in Manchester. There could be some biasness going on. So I've got to make a phone call and get some referees in here to make sure that this all goes above board. I don't want to get into no fights with Zesh, you know what I mean? Nothing like that. He's playing matches. I don't want to take his legs out, nothing like that. So let me make a quick magical spell and get some referees, yeah? Ready? See that? Mets and tricks. What's happening, brothers? What's going on, man? All good shit. Just balling, you know how we do. See, now I'm in Manchester, so when you are in the town of Oz, you must approach the wizard. So I'm in Manny. I have to call these brothers. We, ha we are having a kick-up competition, yours truly, against Zesh Rahman. Yes, sir. These lot are the uh, referees, because we don't want no foolishness to happen, you know what I mean? I understand I'm in a... Uh, you know what I mean? So let's just keep it nice, friendly, and these lot are going to... Referee this year. Have a kick competition with Zesh. What are we talking about? I'm a big player, bro. What are you not laughing? See, look, man, it's bias already. It's bias already. Where's Zesh? Zesh, let's go. I wish you the best of luck. Bro. Oh my god, look, bias, bias. All, all these people, they stick together, man. Look at this. Let's go. Yeah. She's yo. Rocks. 
Shizzy has got a wall on. Who wants some? You want some? Ha! Come get some! 16, 17, 18, 18 19, 20, 1, 1, 2, 23. Ah! Yeah! Not bad. Shizzy! Rock Swayer, baby! <laughs> he's gone. He's gone clear. Premiership player. You know what, yeah? The kick up thing didn't really work out for me because I've just found out that he did 4,000 back in the day for charity, yeah? So it didn't really pan out for me. However, I'm not having it. Penalty shootout, me and Zesh. I'm going to put Mets and Tricks in goal together because I've got power in my legs, you know what I mean? So we're going to do this. I'm not having it yet, so let's do this later. Right, three penalties each, yeah? That's how we're doing it, yeah? Three penalties, two goalkeepers, Mets and Tricks, yeah? Shizzy old first, yeah? Sorry, by the way, the kids are doing their thing, you know what I mean? But we are the big kids right now. Are you ready, yeah? I'm not going to blast it, bruv. Positioning. <laughs> Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Rock right, come send it. Who wants some? You want some? Ha! Come get some. Yeah, 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 yes. Ah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, all right, all right. Send it, send it. Right. That's that's one nil to me. Yeah, I just like to say. <laughs> What's that? Next one I'm gonna smack. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Oh yes. Oh no, he's not letting me score. This is local Rock thing. Swear, baby. I don't think I, I don't think Zess is happy right now. Who wants Save it! Oh come on you man! Ha. Come get some. So if I score this I win, yeah? Basically, if I score this I win. The pressure is on, really, basically. No pressure. When you lot used to have penalties back in the day, did you ever used to whisper something in someone's someone's ear like, you know what I mean, like, you know what I mean, like, like yeah, man, your girl, your girl. Like, like, you know what I mean? Who wants some? You want some? Ha! Come get some! Yes! That's what I'm saying, baby. Shizio, don't matter if you're Zeshrim, I love to Zeshrim, I'm, I'm telling you. What are you talking about? Nah, nah, all love, my brother. Thank you, my brother. Okay. Love, love, love. What do you mean getting goal? No, no, it's over, it's over. The sagas are over. We always end the sagas on a good note, a positive note. Positive note is this. You can be whoever you want to be. Positive note is the kids. And the biggest positive note is, she's your top baller. See you later.